Ayo, welcome aboard. We are going to continue down the Wasatch grade. Downhill, downhill, downhill part. Uh, so this is part two of Smokebox's max tonnage scenario. We're going back on Big Boy 4002. We got to set the retainer brakes on the last 20 or so cars. And you uh, So we're going to depart when ready, I guess. So here we go. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to look, wanted to look at the engine. The expert automatic engineer can be using the downhill run. There will be speeding penalties if you use them though. So I'm going to be running it anyway so it doesn't matter. And there's something I wanted to test with this little high fidelity model. So the turret should be up here. And that is the dynamo. I want to see if it turns off. If you prefer not to see the brake messages. That sends steam to your reverser gear. I know that's used for when air pressure doesn't reach it, like it is a pinch, but I don't know. And I know trains went down because they didn't have this option. I don't know why why it's needed though. I wish I knew. I'm going to keep watching Heist videos to figure that out. Still, if you're seeing this in before my previous video, um, don't press that button at speed in this model. It'll stop your train despite where your brake where your brake handles position is. So yeah. It does cut all power. I've never heard the engine without power. I wanna see what it looks like. Even that's been modeled, that's awesome. Well, not literally model, but yeah. So this is what the engine would sound like when you had just started, like you just started firing against steam pressure. This is what it sounded like when you could finally turn on the turret and the dynamos, start draining out the water, getting your. Um, I love these. No, no, the noises these make. I don't know why. But these are the steam air compressors. Steam powered air compressors. So you open all the, all the uh, <laughs> open all the uh, the drains at this pressure or so. Start running things, and the steam pressure instead of compressing the or attempting to compress the water and blowing it up because it's residual water from the last run. It would blow it out, and then when the only steam comes out, you close it up, and then your engine works. So let's get the diamond out back on. And cab lights. And now, we are good to go. Alright. Um, right, the brakes. Where? There. So, this. That's the front. This is the rear. One, two, three, four, six, eight. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen twenty. And you'll see why that's needed in a minute. 
Uh oh. Good to know. No. I want back to the normal map, please. Oh wait, I just hit the oops. <laughs> Alright. That's a cool view. Not what we wanted. So the tracks are wet, we're gonna go downhill, so we need those brakes. And trust me, we'll probably get an overspeed. Alright. So let's go. The cylinder cocks are also dreams. But since since um, you turn it on off throughout the run, they have these. Oh, we don't want release, we want running. First service out. First service in. I don't know if I want first service, I don't know how to run it. So let's see if it's. Okay, it's on. I want it off. Brakes are still releasing, so give it a second. That should be enough for blowing out residual water as a condensed. There we go. It also would help if I pulled the throttle fully back. Same max tonnage train from last video. It's crazy that these pull these up to grade on the daily. And it's also crazy they were happy to wear out brakes like that. Because brakes, well, if this scenario is fully correct. But the brakes back here, you can hear, are fully applied. The hand brakes. And it's going to be needed. But. I'm sure in real life it was much easier than ruining your brakes. There was much more ways of doing things. Doing things. Better ways. the Johnson bar for steam pressure and we are underway awesome so as I was saying in the previous video um, all the big boys were built in the Northeast in all sections of, of Alco American Locomotive Works Rhode Island's connected the um, Pennsylvania other places I believe Final Assembly was in Schenectady, and the boiler was definitely in Schenectady, New York. So, I wish the UP would send 4014 northeast, northeast and maybe southeast so people over in Florida and stuff. But, unless people... Uh, those people really, really request it, or they have a financial, like, if they have a financial incentive to do so, then they'll do it, but, other than that, she'll never leave UP's lines to come this far, but... Um... Here's hoping. <laughs> Eventually. I personally would love to see it. I don't know. And if anyone's watching this wants to see it, maybe we can use this chance platform and get them to bring it. Get them to bring it. Get enough traction, use word of mouth, channel blows up, you might be able to get them to bring it. And if it really blows up, and this is a big pipe dream, <laughs> might get another one running like 
that's already close to the northeast somehow, in some way, build a community that will have to build, build this thing. Like, there, I, I don't know what they're called. There's a community out building one, building an engine actually, because all of them were scrapped. It, it's the Pennsylvania Railroad engine. Excuse me, I'm coming off the cold and a mixture of have allergies. So, a community is building a Pennsylvania Railroad T1 steam locomotive. I, I think the number is... Number is... 5580, I think? No, 5550. So, I mean, it's not a stretch for another community to take a big boy and rebuild it to modern standards and runner alongside the UP 44 So, hey, hype dream for the channel. We'll see. Here comes the grade. So, welcome aboard, enjoy the ride, and please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> If you enjoy, share it. Let's do it. Get the brakes ready. Let's see if I can manage it this time. Last time I made it, and I've only done this run once, but last time I made it, and I got speedy penalties out the wazoo and nearly derailed her all the way down the hill. I had just gotten the module though. So we'll see. We pop in the safety valve a lot all the way down as well. Normally we would have reached 20 miles by hour right now. 20 miles an hour right now. <coughs> but we got those brakes in the back set this time. I made the mistake of thinking, I don't need those brakes. So we'll see. We're getting close to 20, so I'm going to start bringing the throttle down. Well, set the brakes. I don't know. It's holding at 18 right now. All right, I gotta stop for a second. Oh, look at the articulation. Nice. I gotta stop for a second. We'll be right back. Alright, continue. So, another thing, I believe the T1 beats out the big boy in size, because I know the big boy isn't the largest steam engine in the world. I do know she's the largest running. And I keep saying she for the big boy, it's just a force of habit from ships to so Talking about ships. But, you know, they're beautiful engines, so. <laughs> I haven't had to set the brakes yet, but we just reached 20. And we're in a 25. Already doing a lot better than last time, actually. Those, the, the rear brakes are doing their job, and they're still on the uphill. Oh, we're gaining. So I gotta be prepared to drop it. So take a little set up. Um Yeah. You hear the injector going off he the uh, fireman's filling with water. A 
gonna hear a bit of screech of metal as it goes around the curve. I can't see. This is where the fireman will be making call, looking out the window, making calls while he, the engineer will watch the water and use his live injector if need be. And I'll actually show you the live injector. Right here, your live injector. Oh, we're gaining. I'm gonna take a bit of a set because it takes a while. Lap. Service. Let's see. Let's see if that's enough to hold it at 23. Hold it in lap. Another thing, I turned off first service. I don't know how to use it properly, so it did screw me. Um. It did screw me last time. Oh, I'm dropping too much speed. Let it put it back into running and let it bring it back up. I'm still trying to get there in a, t in a timely manner. We are going to balance as best we can. But yeah, here's the live injector. You'd prefer, you'd prefer to. Oh, I can. Oh, I'm in 30 now. Cool. You'd prefer. To, for the fireman to use the exhaust so you're not burning all the way your live steam on such a big engine because you burn through water so if you, to fill the engine with good water with good steam and waste them using water it's not good so steam that's already been exhausted is cylinders and can heat the water going in is better thermodynamics and it's um and it's already used steam. Was that? A, what, did I, what was that? Ah well. Gain of speed again. Gotta try to keep it at 27, so because it takes a second for the brakes to react. Alright, I'm gonna hit the brakes at like 27.5. Lap. We want service. Drop in pressure. Drop to 70. I'll be happy. Go back in the lap. There you go. I wonder how fun this would be to do with a, um,. Oh, we're dropping on speed again. We can go back and run. I wonder how good this would be with virtual reality. I think it would be amazing. But I don't have that capability. I think we're making good time. We got a green signal. Don't need to slow it down. Just don't go over speed. Alright, we started gaining speed again. So I'm gonna try and drop it to like 80, because we're sit the engine sits at 90 the right here. The brake reservoir or the main reservoir sits at 90. Excuse me, I'm not privy to the, where the gauges are hooked. This, these gauges could be showing. I think they're showing brake reservoir. Let's see. Ah, uh, this is the main res. So this will. Okay, brakes. Lap, lap, service. Lab, lab. Speeding, no, 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 This is a steeper grade. Gotta drop the PSI. And I'm taking a big chunk. Oh boy. 
We're only a mile over. No big deal, no big deal. I'm gonna dump it all. Hold the lap. Now that whole oh smoke shield. Uh now the whole engine or the whole train is finally you know it's finally reached the back of the train. So now I, I lost ten miles of speed. And now you'll see that coming up and this and the uh steam I forgot to whistle because of that. Darn it. Breaking rules and regs. Uh, if you want to see the steam hood. There you go. Steam or uh, smoke hood. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So. I actually. Oh, what I wanted to say, okay. So, who. I'm curious, everyone was watching. What is your local train you get on? Do you have one? I personally have Amtrak and commuter rail for Boston that we call it the T. I would love to see one of these things. One of the. I oh, am. Yeah. Come on, respond. There it goes. I would love to see one of these blasting down the northeast corridor. That'd be cool. Um. Yeah, you know, but one can dream, I guess. Maybe, but I'm curious. Leave it in the comments. What do you guys got? Like I said, I got the T and Amtrak. Oh, a little bumpy, and we're we are um, gaining speed again. Get into service. I don't know why, but I had trouble with the mouse on the brake. Which is the worst thing to have trouble on. That's right, slow it down. Come on. We're gonna start, we're speeding in a second. So I gotta hit it way before. I gotta, ah, uh, nope, the grades come up. At least I don't have to put it in emergency. I might have to put it in emergency. I mean, I don't know how much more I can dump. It's kind of a dump at all, anyway. Oh boy. Come on down. Alright. And we'll just dump the reservoir. We are still not slowing down. There it goes. I'll start recharging it now. Bumpy ride. Come on, mouse. So I actually got it, because these are steep grades. Still, it's a lot better. It was a lot scarier. On the last run. We'll, we'll, uh, gold star one of these one day. The brakes. Have re the brake reservoir has recovered in the front of the train. We're still slowing down, so it's catching up from the back, which is why our main reservoir is not catching up. You might be able to hear it. Hang on. Yeah, you can hear them banging. This, that, they're compressing over here. That was scary, though. I do believe. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Correct me for everything. I don't care. Uh, it's hard to see. Uh, watching that speed. See, I, I dumped the reservoir, so we're, we might be full stopping. Though that shouldn't happen. It's not a modern train. Aw, oh, man. I do believe under here... Are the are is the main cylinder? Why are we completely stopping? Uh, and I can't get back in the cab. There it goes. Jeez. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can hear the brakes, so... Yeah, excuse me, you can hear the steam... The steam... This is going, pressing the air, steam compressors. There you go. Man, I'm botching this. Yeah, I'd probably be firing the, the UP after this performance. Alright, once we get to 15. Let's... No, the brakes are still set. What's going on? I mean... No, no, we're getting speed now. So... I shouldn't have dumped the reservoir because... Without the reservoir being full, the brake still went into the emergency anyway. I should have just kept it in service and hoped, I guess. We're learning. We'll figure it out. So at 25, I'm going to set the brakes. <coughs> Let's see. The reservoir hasn't caught up yet. This is nervous, isn't it? It's making me nervous. Still, we're making okay time. ETA is uh, less than 20 minutes, so... Alright, 26, we gotta set this. Lap, lap. Get into service. And I'm gonna drop it to 50. And hope. So it just says lap twice, because I cut out first service. But you're at the first lap, I think it would be, be lap, first service, full service. Alright, let's see. Is that enough to slow us down? Doesn't look like it. Gotta reach the back of the train. Maybe I can just hit it at 20. Oh man. Releasing more air. I don't want to throw an emergency again. I don't. I don't need that. Come on. Okay, we're not getting the star. And if it gets to 40, I'm throwing an emergency again. Slow it down. Alright. That'll force the brakes on faster. And then I'm going to have to slog through it. I also gotta look direct me reservoir recover. I'm not happy with this. <laughs> Nothing I can do, I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta learn. And I don't think the big boy would be the first. We got a yellow signal. Oh boy. What's coming up? I am not that far, so I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna pull through. I'm gonna drop it to 10 and let the hill speed me back up. Oh, we got a 50, thankfully. I can start slogging it a little bit. A lot better than last time, though. Like, I dead stopped four times on that hill because I had to throw an emergency so many times. Welcome to Castle Rock, folks. Alright. Brakes starting to fill. Res main reservoir is filling up. And 
we have a 20 coming up. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to do this. Quick application of the engine brake should help and allow my main reservoir to recharge. No, oh, we're still gaining uh, service time. Get back down. How the UP ran runs any train down the grade. Of course, they have dynamic brakes now, which will cook off your speed, literally. But how they ran these heavy steamers, 6,000 tons down the up and down the grade, is crazy to me. And we're going back to emergency. I am garbage. And since I dumped the reservoir, I can put this all the way back to running. Because it'll congregate back into the train. Hopefully I don't derail in the yard. No yellow signal. And we're coming up on a grip crossing, it looks like. No, that's a bridge. Will we come below 20? Before the 20? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, we will. I'm gonna give it just some throttle. To slug through the braking. I don't want to dead stop. That's a crossing. That's still a beautiful shot. No, that's not. That is. And it looks like where we're stopping. So I gotta get off the throttle. Castle Rock, westbound, siding, west. Here is hoping. Now the engine brake's still on, so I'm cooking, I'm burning those. And I best put this back in the service. So while we're tr stopping, I said dynamic brakes cook off. Um, diesels and electric and diesel electrics work by traction motors. Same thing on a Tesla, and it uses magnets to spin the wheels. In reverse. Those magnets, uh, the wheels become generators and make electricity to reduce speed. So you have res magnetic resistance creating electricity. All that electricity has to go somewhere. So they have giant uh, grills in the top of the diesel. Uh, I, I'm uh, get back into running uh, in the top of the diesel. That just burn, that convert all that electricity to heat and cook all literally cooks off your speed. It's awesome. On electric trains, that same dynamic braking sends the electricity back into the catenaries, sending that for other trains to use along the line. And if nothing uses it, back to the power grid, which is awesome. And we overset the brakes because I was talking.
That should be enough. No, it is not. Back down. We're gonna crawl to the siding. We are crawling, for sure. Still, we made good time. He said 41 now since 36. Safety valve going off. And this end just got off the hill. That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. We're still on a slight downhill. So we're maintaining six miles an hour. That's awesome. Oh, we're starting to gain six point one. Six point two. Oh, back to what I said about what trains I have to ride. I have that commuter rail, I have Amtrak, and actually, I am able to access a steam engine. I can go to Essex, Connecticut for the Essex Steam Train Riverboat. If you're anywhere close to there, check it out. They even have a your hand on the throttle day, which means you get to drive. The, you get to have a quick crash course and drive the train. No, we don't want release, we want running. And I would love to do that. I would love to go crash course, learn how to run one of these things. But, for now, simulator will suffice. Gain speed. Slow application, please. I might just stop the uh, whole train with the engine brake. Release. Make sure I lap it. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. So, oh, not release. Excuse me. Running. And I should probably throw the bell back on. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, even that. Smoke box, you are amazing. Yeah, but that's being hit by the ra main reservoir. And we're crawling. I did not mean to artificially inflate this. Come on, maybe just do this. Darn allergies. It might just stop on its own, honestly. Like, you can't even see the end of the engine. Uh, excuse me, you can't see the end of the train. Crazy. Where are we right now? We're in Castle Rock. And we're just about to reach the end of the siding at the red light. At the signal. Now I can definitely break. Oh, uh, we don't want it quick. We want it slow. And now we can put full service to stop this. Lap service. And now we can put it to quick. Uh, quick. 
Stop. We don't want to run that red signal. Now we're on a downhill. Um, dumb. <laughs> I'm a horrible engineer, folks. We'll learn. Oh, so you have to hold for a quick app. Stop before you go on the... Uh, no. You might be a danger to, to the main line if you don't stop now. We ran a red. Oh, we didn't run the siding, though. I think that's intolerance. I think that's safe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Oh, yeah. I love this simulator. Great job, Smokebox. I will not stop singing your praises. Without incident, I, uh, I definitely didn't stop, but I came close. Alright, let's see what we get. Speeding violations. Out the wazoo. What? I scored zero. Does that mean... I gained zero XP, but I completed it. So what does that mean? If I go into drive... Uh, career... I got a check mark. Darn. Well, the duration is pretty good. It's been 42 minutes. And a bit of that time... I had to pause it. So, next one is EB Ma uh, Big Boy Max Tonnage Eastbound Part 1. So, we just went westbound the last two vi videos. Oh, but that's going to be 135 minutes. Crazy. Well, thank you for joining me for the ride. If you made it this far, you are an absolute legend. Hopefully, I see you in the next one. And have a good one.